Now for the latest on COVID-19. Today, Monroe County Executive Adam Bello and Public Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza sent a joint letter to Governor Cuomo asking for clear guidance when it comes to hosting festivals. Some festivals happening this year in our area, others are not. Christian Garzon spoke with a major event organizer today. He joins us now live from Highland Park in Rochester with more on this. Christian, what's happening? Well, uh, Adam, Jeff Sprigger with the Lilac Festival says Rochester is known as Festival City, and it took months of work. He had to go a lot, do a lot of back and forth to get the thumbs up to approve this festival here. He just wishes more could have been done for others involved in this situation. He calls this joint effort today by Bello and Mendoza great and says the more clarity we have from Albany, the better off we're all going to be going forward. The is rather than cancel, we'll do the best we can. Jeff Spriggett reminds all the Lilac Festival is on for May, but it's been months of work, a lot of rejection, and reorganizing. There were many conversations back and forth about what we couldn't do, and then we researched around the state to see what people were doing safely. Guidance, he says, scattered and unclear. Other events, like the Corn Hill and Park Ave festivals, have been called off this year. Today, the county executive and the public health commissioner called upon the state to come up with uniform rules, adding, it is crucial that our community finds ways to gather together safely outdoors in the coming months. The city asking for the same earlier this week. I think everybody's frustrated by, by that lack of guidance, and our hope is that we can resolve that so we can have more events this summer. Spriggett says it's easy to say Albany didn't plan enough for festivals this year, but we are dealing with a pandemic here. I don't know if festivals were at the top of their list at that time. Spriggett supporting the move by Bello and Mendoza and hopes soon we'll all hear more from Albany. I think the more clarity we can get, uh, the better off everybody's going to be. Now, this is going to be a very different Lilac Festival this year. Limited capacity, no live music, extra sanitation. I mean, you get the idea. But soon enough, plenty will be here enjoying all this great festival has to offer. In Highland Park, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Marine, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. And coming up at 530, we'll show you how the state's guidance is impacting annual carnivals organized by local fire departments.